Welcome again in our new videos to learn how to create the progress measurement system or the PMS. Before we start, I need to introduce myself. I'm Mohammed Hisham Abadma, Senior Planning Engineer. I have more than 11 years experience in the construction field. Plus, I have a course on Udemy, Power BI for Planning and Control Engineer. Arabic and English version. I have more than 1,200 students. If you want more detail, I will leave the link with the description. In addition, I create Planix Excel tool. It's a simple tool help every planning engineer to accelerate and expedite the uh, repeated work in Excel. Uh, I am certified PMB, SP, and PR Emission. Before we talk about the, uh, the outline of the course, I need to thank engineer Sharif Saleh because I work with him and he's the first one uh, I saw him using the PMS and I learned from him how this tool very, very important to the project. So thank you for your effort with me. What we will talk about in this uh, series of video, we will see how to export the data from P6 into Excel and how to format it to be more visualizing and to be look like the, uh, the P6 from the coloring and grouping, all of this. And then we will discuss the, the difference between the linear and non-linear distribution for the resources, the assigned resources. After this, we will talk about how to get the duration between two dates considering uh, the weekends or the public holidays and how to make it dynamic with data date. Using this, we will see how to get the plan percentage or the plan value uh, for every day or every week or every month depend on the reporting period you use it. This will help us to create the PMS but we're going to use the Planex Excel tool to automate creating the full PMS. After this we will talk uh, brief for the measurement calculations. What is the different type of measurement and how to use it and a small uh, example for every one of those. After we finish and creating the PMS, we're going to see how to update the PMS direct from P6 or from the PMS, updating the PMS and then importing it in uh, P6. Before we talk about the introduction, I want to say this course based on my experience plus some of resources. So if you found anything mistake, I'm apologize and please correct it in the comment. Definition for the PMS. The progress measurement sheet is a document. We're using it to track the progress within the project and identify the deviation from the project plan. What is the purpose? It provides a visibility to the project progress and facilitates the communication among the team member. And it will help in identifying the potential issues or opportunity to improve it. What is the benefit of the PMS? One of the benefits is it helps the project manager to stay on top of the task and deadline and ensure the project stay on track plus it helps the pa the your team construction manager to track their own task and progress be accountable for this progress also the bms as we said it uh, help in identifying the potential issues on early stage and this will help to correct these issues and try to keep the work on track. We know the nature of the construction project, it's full with risk, it's very hard to keep on plan, but this will help you to track your progress. What is the component? The component is similar to your schedule. Actually, we extract it from your schedule. So it typically, it's a breakdown of the project phases, stages, 
allowing more uh, tracking of the progress it could be the same wbs from uh, the p6 or if you have activity code you can use it as your structure for tracking under this level we have the tasks which you're going to construct and the normal information start date finish date all of it. in addition and the most important is the kpis or the matrices for you which is the plan the actual the variance the weight of the variance which you're going to track every month or week or day it's up to the project what is the best practice the best practice basically you have to make sure to update this PMS regularly uh, if your system to update uh, daily or weekly or monthly is very important to follow this and to make sure you have this update because it will help you in tracking and see the trend of your progress the language for the PMS is supposed to be easy to understand and I think better to set up a meeting with your team explaining this PMS a little bit so they can understand it in the future when they want to deal with it. The accessibility of the PMS is very important. Now we have many tools like OneDrive, Google Drive which you can upload the file and everyone can access from everywhere uh, and you can give them like um, authority only to view or to edit depend on how mature they are in dealing with these uh, files conclusion the pms is very valuable tool to track the progress and it helps identifying the potential issues and if you follow the best practice the manager could be effective in using the pms to keep the project on track now I will uh, let you see one sample of what we are going to see in our course. As you can see we have a simple project here. Uh, we will learn how to make this coloring to look like the P6. Also this grouping by one click by using Planix Excel tool. In addition by using this file we will create all the BMS. And as you can see it's very handy to use then we will see how to make this plan percentage be uh, dynamic by changing the data date for example if i change this to four the plan percentage will update and also the variance and the actual we will see how to get it from p6 or updating here direct and reflecting this in the p6 i will leave in the description how to download and use this tool also uh, the file which we're going to use in the course i hope you get benefit from this one also don't forget to subscribe to get the update about this course once i upload new video thank you and let's go to the next video bye